In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to convert one unit of measurement to another unit. This is part one of the series. In order to convert any unit of measurement to another, you need a conversion factor. In question number one, they're asking us to convert 1.530 miles to feet, and the conversion factor provided is shown below. Another word for conversion factor is conversion ratio. And every conversion factor, if it's shown like this, can be written in two other ways. Either, in this case, one mile over 5280 feet, or 5280 feet over one mile. Essentially, these two are reciprocals. So, in our case here, we have 1.530 miles, which I'll represent as MI. And what you have to do is multiply this number by one of these two versions. But how do we pick the right one? Let's take, for example, the first one. If I were to multiply this by one mile over 5280 feet, what would happen is we would multiply 1.530 by one, and we would multiply miles times miles. Miles times miles is miles squared. That doesn't get us to what we want, which is feet. So what you're going to do is flip this around. And look what happens. The mile unit up here will cancel out with the mile unit down here. This leads us to a single unit. Take a look, only feet is left. So what we do next is multiply this number times 5280. And we end up with 8078.4 feet. Now, if you are expected to take into consideration significant digits, take a look at the original number that was provided. The original number that was provided contained four significant digits. One, two, three, four. The conversion factor, on the other hand, contained three significant digits. However, keep in mind that the conversion factor is always an exact number. So when it comes to multiplying, you will not consider the fact that this is three significant digits. You'll only consider this because that's the approximate number. So our final answer has to contain four significant digits. Therefore, it would become 8078 feet. And that's that. Let's move on to question number two. In this question, they're asking us to convert 934 acres to square miles. So 934 acres to square miles, which is represented as mi to the power of 2. This time, the conversion factor that has been provided is shown here. And there are two ways to write this, either 1 miles squared over 640 acres or 640 acres over one mile squared. Now, which of these two are we going to use? Well, let's write this number down. And if you guessed the first one, you're correct. Because if you multiply this by one mile squared over 640 acres, you'll notice that the acres will cancel out, leaving you only with miles squared. So let's go ahead and multiply this all out. 934 times 1 divided by 640. 640, and we end up with 1459375 miles squared. Now, if you are asked to keep in mind significant digits, remember that this one has 3, and since that has 3 significant digits, so should our answer. And our answer would end up becoming 1.46 miles because everything after the 5 would be discarded. And since this 9 is greater than 5, this number would go up by 1, leaving you with 1.46. Let's move on to our last question. In our last question, they're asking us to convert 96.3 centimeters squared to squared inches. The conversion factor is shown below. But unfortunately, the conversion factor is not in the squared form. Take a look at this. So what you have to do is convert the conversion factor. In our case, we would square both sides. And this would lead us to the following. 2.54 to the power of 2 gives us 6.4516. 6.4516. 6 
6.4516 centimeters squared is equal to one inch squared. And given that this has three significant digits, this should also have three significant digits. So we end up with 6.45 centimeters squared is equal to one inch squared. And this can be written in two ways. The first way is 6.45 centimeters squared over one inch squared or one inch squared over 6.45 centimeters squared. Let's take our number 96.3 centimeters squared. And which of these two will cancel out the centimeter squared? You need to have one where the centimeter squared is at the bottom. And this fits that criteria. One inch squared over 6.45 centimeters squared. We're going to cancel this out with the centimeter. And we end up with 96.3 divided by 6.45. And we end up with an answer of 14.93 inches squared. Remember to keep in mind significant digits. This had three, so your final answer should also have three. We'll discard this three, leaving us simply with 14.9 inches squared. And there you have it. Three solid examples on how to convert one unit to another using the simple method. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at studyforce.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.